Hi, I'm Laura Zalenga and I am a photographer specialized on self-portrait. In this lesson, I'm going to show you three techniques to take self-portraits. I really want to show you that even if you don't have a really professional camera, just a phone with a timer, you can take great self-portraits. Phone very helpful because it has a camera. And then I go to the timer. You have different options, but I like the 10 seconds because it gives you a bit more room. And then you need to find something to, of course, keep your phone right. I take a roll of tape because you might have a tripod, but maybe you don't. So get creative. I sometimes even use a shoe. And now I see that this is a bit of unstable. So I think I'm just gonna use a piece of tape so it doesn't slide away. So now I can put the phone in here. So now this is way more stable. And I can even, because now it's hard to reach my, my hit button down there. So now I can even use, of course, the side of the phone to start it. Run. And well, this is gonna be a fantastic self-portrait. Fake smile, don't do that in reality, of course, but this is not gonna be a great photo. I will even talk in the photo because this, of course, is just to demonstrate how we can do this. Okay, look, photo, it's sharp. I'm talking, my face looks really strange, but this is of course not what it is about. The most important thing that I wanna make sure now is that like have my focus point on something that is placed where I'm gonna be placed. That means you don't wanna focus on the wall, you don't wanna focus on the ground in front of you, you really wanna put the focus point, and in this case, I put it on the box because I know I'm gonna be on the box. So this is where I want it to focus. So let's get the remote control. I mean, there's a timer built in the camera, but of course it's way more comfortable for me to have something in my hand to click. Yes, that looks good. And let's see if that works with me being there. So, here's the next one. And here, as you see, I'm like hiding my remote behind me. But of course, with a two seconds timer, I of course could also just put it somewhere else, let's say on the ground, but I'm too lazy for that now. And again, I will have a talking picture. <laughs> let's check out the photo. Fantastic. I will use this as my next uh, profile picture knot. Now, I open the app. In my case, that's the Imaging Edge mobile app. And I tell my camera to control with smartphone and connect. Now I'm actually connected, so that's nice. I make sure again that I have my focus point here, either on the box or maybe in this case, I can try to have the focus point slightly above the box because that's where I'm gonna be. I can change at least some of the settings here in the app with sometimes with the camera and app connection, you can even set the focus, which is really genius because then you just literally click on your phone screen and set the focus wherever you want it. I guess gonna take one photo, hide the phone. Oh, I look at this. Fantastic. I'm kidding. While with the other two methods, you have to listen more to your body and yourself instead of the device that's in your hand. So. I think even if you have this method available, I would still recommend doing the, one of the other two every now and then just to practice that one too. And also for those who just have a phone, don't be sad. The other things make things easier, but they don't necessarily make a better picture. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you wanna see the other ones where I teach a lot more about inspiration and about my whole process and how I actually execute my self-portraits, then have a look in the description where you'll find a link to my Domestica course.